shooting for a theme, a project that will give you a cohesive body of work not only improves your street photography skills, but will also heighten and enhance your level of perception. Let's get into it. In its essence, a street photography project is nothing more than choosing a particular theme or concept that you, as the photographer, are working towards. You can achieve this by simply thinking of an idea and saying to yourself, Today I'm going to photograph street life by the sea to showcase how tourism has shaped my town. Or you can be as detailed as making a plan for a shoot. For instance, capturing cultural diversity in your city. You can plan all of the areas of the location that you want to capture. And if you were that way inclined, you could potentially talk to locals, get invites for events, and other community gatherings. I'm not saying that you have to use these ideas or even use these methods. I'm just pointing out that there are different approaches that you can take if you decide on shooting for a project. From its inception in the late 19th century, street photography has been used to document cultural, social and historical moments, as well as the nuances of daily life. In 2024, in all corners of the world, there are movements and events that can be documented through your passion, a sense of duty, or just because you want to get out and take some photos. But you don't have to capture anything grand at all. You can set yourself a project capturing emotions on people's faces, or hunting for subjects who wear a particular colour or a particular piece of clothing. The possibilities are endless and the benefits that you will reap from doing this are huge. By consistently applying yourself to a particular theme, over time you will find that your style will evolve and you'll be able to experiment with various techniques and compositions which will ultimately enable you to discover what particular style resonates with you. For instance, it wasn't long after I started shooting night photography that I picked up a Pro Mist filter, which creates a halation around light sources and it softens highlights and reduces contrast. For myself, it is now a signature look for my night street photography as I want my photographs to be as atmospheric as possible. I even created an ebook called Riot Night, which actually features a lot of these atmospheric lights together with the streets of Rye. So by shooting a particular concept, over time you will find that you reflect on your work and discover different methods of approaching your subject matter. Through focusing on a particular project, when you come to reflect on your photos, you will also gain a greater understanding of your subject. And whereas initially you chose to focus on capturing the hustle and bustle of a particular street, perhaps photographing the local baristas, shopkeepers, over time your project will evolve to also reveal a deeper story about community, offering viewers a layered understanding of the street that could only be achieved through thematic exploration. Your technical skills will also improve when you focus on a particular project. When you encounter various challenges related to your particular theme or subject, be it low light conditions, fast subjects, the more practice that you have, the more you'll begin to learn and adapt. This might involve finding the best time of day for the best light, or even mastering new camera settings. Through regular practice and tackling challenges in projects, you'll not only grow your technical skills, but also become more creative and effective in using them. Consistently sticking to a theme grabs the audience's attention because it encourages them to look deeper than just the picture's surface. 
It invites them to connect the dots between the photos and discover the hidden message that you as the photographer is trying to share. For instance, I visited multiple locations such as Brighton, various piers around the South Coast, the Barbican in the City of London and the town in which I live, Rye in East Sussex. This is because I know that the compositions, the night lights and the light in these particular locations contribute to my style of photography and over time I've built up a body of work in all of these places and through my photographic explorations I have found that I relate to a particular style of capturing my subjects. Perhaps because besides being charming, irresistible and somewhat gregarious, I also have a melancholic side to me which I believe is reflected in my work and therefore I have noticed that I often capture a sense of loneliness so not only can I turn Rye, Brighton and the Barbican into different projects, I can also create a project on loneliness if I want. I hope you see what I'm getting at. There are themes within themes within themes. So find out what you like to capture because you can also explore themes that resonate with your personality or interests. By experimenting with different angles and perspectives, you can engage with your audience with simple subjects such as people working at market stalls and mixing close-up portraits with wider environmental shots adds variety for the viewer and encourages you to think about framing. Also, capturing subjects in moments of joy or struggle adds emotional depth to your work and will obviously resonate with the viewer as emotional connection always does. Technical skills in photography, such as mastery over composition and lighting, are fundamental in bringing your photographic vision to life. Understanding simple techniques such as the rule of thirds, leading lines or the play of light and shadow will allow you to create images that not only capture moments but will also help you tell the stories through your images that you're trying to impress on the viewer. As I've been through in my previous video on leading lines, thoughtful composition can guide the viewer's eye and can create a sense of balance or tension in the frame. Editing is a whole subject in itself, but having a significant style of editing through your body of work will make it more impactful and cohesive. This is where creating presets or even purchasing presets if you don't want to create your own comes into the fore. Presets allow you to apply edits across multiple images. In any Lightroom folder of work, you can either use presets in different editing software. I personally like to create a distinctive look for my photos rather than keeping the colors true to life because to me that's more atmospheric. Not only would shooting for a project help you improve your skills as a photographer, it can also offer significant psychological benefits contributing to your emotional and mental well-being. Undertaking a project teaches you to be mindful as by immersing yourself in your project, it requires you to be fully present and when you're on the go with your camera, you are completely living in the moment where you'd be concentrating on looking for particular subjects. Thus your mind is delving into a heightened state of awareness. You can also improve your sense of perception where you'll naturally and quickly notice people who are the subjects of your chosen project theme. That might be happiness or just people who are wearing a particular kind of clothing. Basically, your awareness skills will just keep growing and getting faster by undertaking a project. Plus, working on a project and finally completing it is a psychologically rewarding experience because once you've published the work in a book, 
an ebook or on a website or anywhere else you can reflect on what you have achieved which gives you confidence and the impetus to go out there and start another project let me tell you there's nothing more rewarding than having a series of photos that you could be proud of that not only people on social media or anywhere else enjoy looking at but you enjoy looking at as well and as i've said before my partial melancholic attitude seems to be reflected in my work but because i've had time to think about this and i want to create different styles of imagery i think it's important to push myself to capture more joyful scenes with people smiling and having fun i think it's important to not only photograph what feels right for your style but also push yourself in future projects to photograph subjects that might be out of your comfort zone which can only help you grow as a photographer and also improve your confidence if you've got any questions about anything that we've learned today don't forget to leave a comment down below begin by identifying a theme that resonates with you personally this could just be an emotion, a social issue, a place that you love or don't love. Or just to get some practicing, you can start with something quite simple, such as people wearing a certain color of clothing. However, as you progress, you might want to consider working on themes that offer depth and deeper meaning. Reflect on what you find intriguing or gives you inspiration as this passion will drive your project forward. I have a habit of just simply getting out there and just jumping into shooting. But if you are inclined, you can start with thorough research on your theme to gather inspiration and understand different perspectives. Next, scout locations that best represent your theme. Considering the time of day and light conditions that might impact your shots then you can develop a flexible plan that outlines your goals and potential challenges whilst allowing room for spontaneous discoveries when shooting immerse yourself in the environment to anticipate candid moments whilst remaining respectful and unobtrusive i do this by repeatedly visiting the location for a shooting session whilst remaining as quiet and ninja-like as possible. Practice patience by keeping yourself in the waiting game. Good street photography often requires waiting for the right moment or interaction to unfold. You want to do your project properly, so sometimes you just have to wait for the right subject to come along. Just a quick one, if you can please like this video and subscribe for more explorations, photography tips and tutorials, I would really appreciate it. We've explored the enriching journey of embarking on a street photography project, emphasising certain aspects that includes finding a theme that resonates with you on a personal level the necessity of thorough planning and research, having a distinct editing style, and also the psychological benefits to you, not only as a photographer, but to you as a human being as well. Don't forget that the key takeaway that I must stress is the value of consistency in theme and narrative to create a cohesive and compelling body of work that tells a story and evokes emotion. There's a lot of information to take in, but I hope this video inspires you to dip your toes into the possibilities of shooting a project and a theme. Even if you don't want to go the whole hog, you can pick a theme every week just for one day and just shoot a particular subject or a particular area just to see how it goes. Let your curiosity, passion and inspiration guide you as you explore the streets with your camera however if you want to learn how to improve your street photography compositions using leading lines then check out this video here until we meet again go forth and create <laughs>